is bi weekly contest uh, by 1994 the date is 24th 12 22 and uh, yeah first question is this right maximum enemy force that can be captured okay so basically in this question we were given a basically integer array you know which contain 1 0 or minus 1 1 means this is a uh, r fort you know this fort is under our command 0 means this is enemy's fort and minus means there is no fort like it's a empty place empty position minus 1 means that what you want to do you have to start traveling from 1 any of the one which because this fort is under your control um Let's forget about forget about these things. It's just for you know, uh, fort and control, no fort, enemy fort. But just so uh, just see about one zero and minus one. You have to start from one, and you have to go till minus one, right? Uh, because minus one is empty fort. So basically, they have stated that you have to start from I position. You have to move to the J empty position J. So you have to start from one. You have to move till minus one. How such that every element between these one and minus one should be zero. and it should not be the case like there is no zero element between 1 and minus 1 like there are all ones and uh, like three ones and minus 1 is not like this 1 comma minus 1 is not a good thing because in between this there is no zero right and similarly if like it, it was the case like you know what uh, if there was something like 1 1 1 1 and minus 1 that's also not good like if you start from this one uh, and this uh, minus one it should be like all zeros in between and similarly for this one and minus one there is nothing in between so yeah this is also not good so what you have to do uh, actually uh, the constraints are pretty much you know very low so this gives a bit over edge over here so we will take every subset or every sub array right for and i is equal to this this is kind of a risky thing you know but uh, yeah it will pass because the constraints are low And J is equal to I plus one. Not I plus one. You have to start from I plus two. Less than in J plus plus. Why I said I plus two? Because for example, if this is one at this position, there should be one thing in between, and there should be must be one zero, and then minus one should come. So this is I. This is I plus one, and this is I plus two. Now minus one you cannot have before I plus two. Minus one cannot be at I plus one. Then it's always zero. Minus one cannot be you know uh, at uh, uh, yeah. I uh, this uh, there is no point of starting with I because one element can only be one or minus one, right? And I plus one we are not looking at. We are, why we are starting from I plus two? There must be one zero in between, right? And must be one thing in between. We will check whether it's zero, then it's valid. Otherwise, it's not valid. So now we are checking validation. If A of I is equal to equal to one, so what is the logic basically? First, let me tell you about the logic. What I am doing is I will take every sub array, right? Because it will take n square time, I know, but the constraints are less. I will take that. So now this is basically my given array. I will take every starting point and ending point. Check that the starting point should be one and ending point should be minus one. Or or uh, the starting point should be minus one or ending point should be minus one. Because they have also said that you know you just need to see that one and minus one and between them there should be zero. Ordering is not matter whether you are going in left direction or whether you are going in. You can go from minus one to this minus one, so this plus one to this minus one, or you can go from this plus one to this minus one. Right? That's also possible. The direction of movement is not basically important. So yeah, that's about it. You will check uh, every sub array. You will check starting and ending point should be one or minus one, like in any order, and between them all should be zero. So first thing is to check that a of i is equal to one and and. A of J is should be equal to minus one, or or ya yeah, fir A of I is equal to equal to minus one, and an A of J is equal to equal to one. That's it. And uh, I think uh, we should write uh, one more this bracket and uh, like close. Yeah. So that this condition or this condition and and there is one thing like it should be uh, all zeros in between. Okay. Uh, i'm just making another function for checking that i plus 1 to j minus 1 this is the range in between uh, it can be the same element i plus 1 and j minus 1 can be the same element and a single element or it can be multiple elements but that all should be zero and it should be good then i'll say okay c plus plus and then you will return or not c basically z is equal to max of z comma uh, what is the ending point j minus starting point i and minus 1 because like that's how the number of zeros are calculated in between so i plus 2 and i the difference is 2 but number of zero is just 1 so this difference of index minus 1 uh, yeah that's about it and z is equal to you'll start from 0 and you can return your z the good function is simple 
like bool good int uh, starting point and ending point and you have to give its vector also vector of int comma with this and you have to start for int i is equal to s i less than equal to e and i plus plus and then you have to say what you have to say all should be zero okay if a v of i if a v of i is not zero then you have to return false not equal to zero return zero else you just return one that's about it yeah you have to pass the vector uh i'm naming it as a i have named it as a so let's do this let's run this code it should give a compile n is not declared a dot size a dot size why this n remains undeclared every time okay what okay semicolon these silly mistakes too soon four zero let's try to submit this up accept it let's move to see uh yeah we can do this in this one straightforward problem very straightforward problem reward top k students you have been given a positive and negative feedback array no is present in both the negative and p feedback and it's not like it's present in that so positive feedback means yeah it's a positive feedback that ch your children got a positive feedback negative feedback means your children got a negative feedback what you have been given you have been given a student id called array student id array which contains id of every student okay and then you have game uh, you have given report array equal to the size of the student id like same number of like elements in this also like this uh, first string corresponds to uh first uh, student whose id is one and second string correspond to second student yeah whose id is two it can be anything right but one two in this case you need to see in this string how many uh you know words are positive feedback how many negative feedback and then you have to uh you know uh, assign some number according to this so for one positive feedback i'll do plus three for one negative feedback i'll do minus one and similarly for this one and similarly for all you will calculate a particular value value is equal to uh, independent on number of positive and negative feedbacks like that like number of not uh, if i directly say number of positive feedbacks into three minus number of negative feedback that is your value you will calculate for every string and you will assign it to every student and then you just need to sort it and return it in a way like you just need to return a student id based on the value so yeah very straightforward problem like should i just show you the code because this is very straightforward problem but let me quickly write it for you guys okay so first of all for fast transaction what you need to do you are going to convert this vector of positive and negative feedback into an ordered set of string why i am doing this the question is this why i'm doing this because let me first complete this pf of positive feedback yeah because you want fast like you want to find uh, any element in this in just over time right so that you can do in an ordered set or an ordered vector uh, sorry an ordered map yeah i want like because vector searching takes i don't know n time of n time but an ordered set may i need to search it will take less time right so that's why this and then ordered set so this is the basic prerequisite before starting the even the problem negative feedback array convert into negative feedback unordered set for faster oh, searching yeah, yeah. and now the first step is basically for int i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus basically i'm going index wise and taking out the whatever present in report and then we have to first convert this string into vector of strings okay why obviously like because you need to uh, separate out these words from this you know this uh, student is studious like you need to separate these words out and then basically we will check like how many words are actually present in this so how to separate the words okay uh some people do you know uh separation based on the space we can do that as well uh, yeah, what i would yeah. like to tell you is that uh, first create a vector of string name it something like uh, x or whatever you want to name it string and then start string stream okay this is a basically uh yeah inbuilt library which you can use for these kinds of thing uh t and uh s of i sorry not s of i report of i let me take r so report of i goes into that and then what you need to do word um uh, string word yeah, string w and then while your w 
coming out from the stream you will just add x dot push back your uh, what x dot push back what your word right so this thing and then what you're gonna do string stream okay this uh, i'm not pretty sure like whether this double less than or double greater than we'll see that okay and uh, string stream vector x dot push back you created your string right yeah that's what it is and then uh then you need to check for auto i in x if it's present in positive feedback right if uh, p f dot count your i you will do c plus equal to or value plus equal to three whatever and similarly if it is present in your negative feedback you will do c minus equal to one right because minus one for this and that's how you will calculate the thing then you will say map of basically uh, map or you can just v dot push back i'm creating another vector v which will store a pair of this first of all value and then uh, it will store something like what is the index over here index is basically i plus one not index but student id of this uh, let's student id go make it id and let's take id of this uh, i right whatever the id is of this i you'll take it you need just need to sort your v dot begin say like what sort v dot begin like a v dot end and basically a uh, custom sorting return our a of zero should be greater than a of no if it's equal right if you have zero equal to equal to b of zero what you need to do you need to sort on the basis of a1 should be less than b of one otherwise you have to do a of zero should be greater than b of zero first element should be greater vector int a vector into b or vector of vector int v not vector of vector int basically yeah it's int right vector of vector int v and vector of int a vector of int b you'll sort it and your while your k minus minus you need to create another vector of int let's say r in which okay it is also r yes curl it and uh, i start from zero and r yes dot push back your what v of i i plus plus and return your r yes as i told you it's very pretty straightforward and pretty simple question i just don't even explain the logic about this because i just uh, uh, talk and like just write the same thing because it's just straightforward but uh, let me just tell you quickly uh n y whew, id dot size karlo ya fir uh, r dot size dono ki cheez hai because both the sides are same let me see there should be because the long code there i can expect some of the errors okay so i think like this okay so let's say like t comes out from here it goes to w i don't know what is exactly this but yeah this is basically my way to do this r s dot push back v of i okay what's the problem oh v of i dot one you need to have its id yeah oh which means everything is fine again for this let's see oh we should test it for bigger test case or oh, let's just try to sum this up yeah let's try to sum this up okay cool accepted okay guys bye we'll cover uh the remaining problem in the next video okay guys bye